On this episode of System Integrators Weekly, iBuyPower has finally joined Operation Code Breathorn, kind of. So let's dive into their ready-built systems and do some holiday shopping. All that and more in this episode of SI Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I am Breathorn. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly. I'm really excited right now because, hear me out, this whole series started because of iBuyPower. There were many influences, uh, but, the, but the primary impetus for me starting the series was getting a system from iBuyPower's lineup of ready systems back when the shortages were going on and uh, having a great experience and being like, I, I didn't have to spend four times the price on the GPU. In fact, I bought this whole system for the same price of a 3070. And uh, back when those were being scalped. So I was like, let me share this with the world. Of course, it was also because I looked at my analytics after posting a couple of videos about that. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. People want more info on this. This audience is underserved. Let me just not let that continue. But in all that time, we've never had a coupon code, even though they were the pretty much the first SI I ever talked about and the first to send me a system to review. I've never, we never had a coupon code. So we've been talking about it. I've been talking about it with them for a long time, but with a company the size of iBuyPower, the largest system integrator in North America, okay, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of PCs a year. There, it's, it's a little difficult to get something like that put through, but we finally have one for a little while. <laughs> yes, we have Code Breathorn for iBuyPower's ready systems from December 4th, to December 11th. Maybe they're trying it out. Maybe it's because we're also doing a crazy huge stream at the end of the week where I'm going to be building one of their systems and then we're going to be giving it away. And we're also going to be giving away a GPU during the stream. That might be another reason why that's happening. Oh man, this is going to be a great episode. So if you've been eyeing I buy power for your holiday PC shopping needs, this is the video for you. And even if you weren't doing that, watch anyway, because we got some things to talk about when it comes to iBuyPower and the um, connotation that a lot of people seem to give them and how wrong it is. That's right. We're going to talk about that too. So stick around after the ad break, which is the ad break for VIP CDK deals, because this episode is sponsored by VIP CDK deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying, here's how it works, and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you, CDK deals, for continuing to support the channel. Before we get into this, a few disclaimers. This video is being filmed for Monday, December 4th, 2023. Any pricing and availability that you see here is actually probably gonna change from what I'm filming it right now to the day it comes out because we're on the tail end of some Cyber Week sales. However, this should still give you an idea of what's out there. And that's the good thing about having a coupon code all week long is that this coupon code is going to last all week long. The next thing is you are going to hear some opinions here. And oh boy, there are opinions in this video. And uh, some of them won't surprise you if you've been watching my content or my streams or anything where I basically debunk a lot of the stuff people say about I buy power. If you disagree, that's totally fine. Uh, go ahead and do so in the comments below, right down there. Or if you agree, also do that in the comments below. If you have had a customer service experience or a purchasing and ownership experience with iBuyPower, this is the most important one. Please share that in the comments below because I guarantee you iBuyPower is going to be watching this video and uh, it might be a great way to share a positive or potentially negative story. The last one is, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. That's not what I do. What I do is I aim to provide you with the information you need to make 
an educated, informed purchasing decision for yourself. Those of you out there who are like, hey, here's a computer, is it good? Is this computer good? Is it good? I'm gonna share something with you. All computers are good for somebody. Is it good for you? I don't know. So what I do is I talk about this stuff and hopefully you absorb the things that I say uh, that are generally based in my 25 plus years of PC building and troubleshooting and enthusiasm and just obsession. I am obsessed with computers, okay? The fact that I get to talk about them for a living is insane actually, and I love it. But uh, then thank you for that. Thank you for that. Even if you're new to the channel, you're helping me do this for a living. Thank you. I hope I'm helping you save money and get the PC that you need for your needs and budget and all those things. Also, hey, you have a chance to like win free PCs here now and then. So if that doesn't get you to subscribe, I don't know what will. Actually, I do know what will. It's the upcoming series, Pre-Built, Rebuilt, where I teach you how to upgrade your PC and make it better after you've bought it. When you realize I should probably upgrade my storage or whatever, there's going to be a video for that. There's going to be a series of videos for that and with even better, cooler stuff coming after that. So get subscribed already. Now that that's out of the way, I wanna talk about something. Misconceptions and popular opinion. Okay, so one of my favorite words that I've learned, it learned in the last year or so is dialectic or dialectical, okay? And what is that? Well, dialectic is the art of investigating or discussing the truth of opinions. Basically, dissecting opinions, seeing how they're formed and whether it's they're accurate or not, okay? And to me, I think that this is one of the most valuable things that we can do for ourselves. Look at our opinions and figure out where they came from and whether they're valid or not. Because part of growing as a person is realizing that the long held beliefs that you've had, they deserve scrutiny. Now, one of the things I think has made a huge difference for me when it comes to iBuy Power is actually Linus Tech Tips and their Secret Shopper series. Now, I've been openly critical about the series in some ways, but only in the sense of, hey, pre-built reviews are kind of wrong and bad and not good in the, in the way that they exist right now, which is why I'm sort of trying to change the way I do my own pre-built PC reviews. However, the best part of every series is when they go over customer service, because that is the most whether you believe it or not, that is the most relevant thing for most people when it comes to their actual experience of ownership. Now, we're right smack dab in the middle of the third ever Secret Shopper series from Linus Tech Tips. The past two were pretty far in the past, actually. They went for a few years without doing one, but they did two before, and in both of those, I buy power one. Now it's time to crown a winner. For the second time in a row, I buy power is taking home the prize. And guess what? Pretty sure it's happening again. They recently released their their episode that covers the customer service experience, and I buy power was light years ahead of everybody else. The actual service was fantastic. I agree with you. A plus. That was awesome. They buried the competition with the quality of their customer service, and they had double the challenges because guess what? When the PC arrived, it had an issue. This was a system that had an actual problem yeah, with it. This is the one, it got messed up on the Windows install. I just tried a few quick fixes. It could happen to anyone. But they fixed it so quickly. You can tell they've dealt with this before. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was like, oh, it's this. Yeah, it's asking uh, my country, and yeah, it, it's the whole Windows setup thing, so. Well, Great. Okay. They had two different technicians that they spoke to, and both of them were so effective at their jobs that they fixed one actual problem, and then the manufactured issue, where they made one of the sticks of RAM loose, so fast. Looks like you have an MSI motherboard, which will have a couple of debug lights inside. So if you look Straight at the glass panel. to the, the debug case. lights. Two issues. Cause I get, I bet you he's gonna solve this. Like, look, he's already got the he's debug light figured out. So far ahead. I buy power might have solved both of these issues in about the same time as our best resolution of the one Anyone. issue yeah. with the others. Yeah, and it's two different reps too. So we can't even just, you know, tie it to like, oh, we had a good guy. Crushed it. They crushed it, knocked it out of the park. I see a Windows logo. Yay! Perfect. Easy A. Yeah, no problem. No question. Honestly, A plus. Two completely different reps, 
crushed it almost instantly. They figured it out. They knew exactly where to go. Six and a half, seven minutes, just under seven minutes. I mean, absolute mastery over customer service and tech support. But iBuyPower has been at the forefront of system integrators who have reached out to me. They were the first to, to, to really reach out to me in a way that was positive and led to a positive experience. And they were like, yeah, we've been watching your channel and we like what you're doing. Would you want to review a system? And I was like, yeah. When I was at like 2000 subs, it was incredible. It really was. I mentioned a stream coming up at the end of the week. I'm thinking of doing it at 6 p.m. Central this Friday, the 8th of December. We're gonna be building a rad system that you can actually buy off of iBuyPower. One of their, it's gonna be one of their ready systems. And we're gonna give that one away. And it's gonna come with a full iBuyPower warranty and all that good stuff. But even better than that, because that giveaway is gonna go on beyond the stream. You can come to the stream and win an RX 7700 XT. Right there, right in there, plus other stuff. You want peepos? Yeah, you want peepos. You want, of course you do. They're adorable, they're amazing. You can win them there. Other merch, things like that. It's gonna be the freaking most hype stream I've ever done. And it's also the first thing I've ever done that's gonna be actually sponsored by iBuyPower and AMD and Deepcool. It's gonna be amazing. And I really want you guys there, like everybody. If you've ever been in one of my streams, you need to be in, in this one. It should be on Twitch and YouTube. And I'll have more details available on my Twitter. Again, follow that Twitter, guys. Or if you're in the Discord, the announcements channel as well. It's gonna be everything that a giveaway PC should be. All right, so join me there, please. Now the other thing, yes, Operation Code Breathorn, we have iBuyPower joining up with that for this week, only up until next Monday, the 11th. So what does that mean? So if you go to iBuyPower.com, which is linked in the description below, and you click on Ready Prebuilt Computers right here, see it's still Cyber Week, so that's probably gonna go away. You go to any one of these systems, okay, if it's $9.99 or more, use code Brayathorn to get 50 bucks off. Or if it's $19.99 or more, use code Brayathorn to get $100 off. Bam, done, there you go. But now we have it, we have it for one week. And here's what I want you guys to do. In the comments, I want you to let iBuyPower know if you think that that should be a discount that they carry all the time so that our community, our channel that is focused on pre-builds because of iBuyPower was inspired by an iBuyPower ready system. If this channel, this show, and you, this audience should have that discount continuously. I've championed their ready systems from iBuyPower for a very long time as one of the best values that you can get in pre-builds, but I can't cover them that often because that video content becomes irrelevant very soon thereafter. And since they're probably gonna be hanging out in the stream on Friday, in a friendly manner, come in and let them know there too. It just makes sense. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's take a look at the systems. As I mentioned before, and yes, I am zoomed in quite a bit, even though it's a 4K monitor, I've zoomed in quite a bit so you can kind of see the numbers better. Here's the process to find deals and to find your budget in iBuyPower's ready systems. Are you ready? Because these are ready, ha 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 ha. Okay, so what you wanna do, I generally sort not by best seller because that doesn't make any sense for, uh, for buyers. Whatever is the best seller is not necessarily the best for you, right? So I always go low to high. I would actually really like it if that was the default instead, but that's it's your prerogative I buy power. If you want to do all my best sellers, that makes a lot of business sense, and I do get that. So what you want to do is you go price low to high, and then you go right over here to this slider. And if your budget is, say, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500, well, okay. Bring the bottom up one to 1,000, and then bring the, the top slider down or the right slider as low as you can before it starts pushing the other one. It's like it's, it looks like it's got to be a $600 swing there. And that's it. We have now narrowed it down to just these systems. These are the only ones that fit within that budget. Now, if you're gonna be getting, if you're if you're saying your budget is from $1,000, 1,500, my suggestion to you is just to go with the higher budget and spend as much as you can, as long as the system makes sense, because this is an investment, you're gonna be using it for years, hopefully. I buy power by default comes with a three year labor, one year parts warranty, though so you can extend that. So once you filter that out like that, you can actually just, you know what, I'm gonna raise this up 500 bucks in general. Let's just go like that, bam. 
and you get a whole different uh, bunch of cases. I will say I by power did a great job taking their trace case. I think it's like their gen five enclosure and putting a mesh front panel on it. It's freaking gorgeous. I was super excited when I saw it at CES. The downside though is, but the whole idea was like they were going to put the front panel by itself in the gear store so that anyone with a gen five case could swap it out. So if you had like, you can get the whole case and then just take the front panel off and put it on your already built PC. But like, why would you do that? But I know the logistics of it, the, 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 the money of it is it's just it, it's hard to make sense of that. I, I get that. Now, another thing that you can do is if you're if you're interested in particular components, you can go in here and choose by CPU or GPU or how much memory it has. Right. It only goes up to 32 gigs. Unfortunately, I don't see any 64 gig systems here on uh, the SSD. I'm actually not sure why they have 500 gigs listed for the SSD, because you'll notice unless you're looking at their absolute cheapest system, everything comes with a one terabyte drive. Remember that the discount and I want to mention this for systems over 999, you get 50 bucks off. These are both at 999, unfortunately. So I don't think the coupon is going to work for them because otherwise I would be all over recommending this sucker right here. And I'm going to do that anyway, if this thing is still at 999. An Intel Core i5 13400F. All right. Yes, it's got the F and a lot of these do for Intel processors. They'll put the F SKU on there, which is unfortunate. But that is a 10 core processor, six performance cores, four efficiency cores, a B760 motherboard, OK, with Wi-Fi, not a B760M. So it's not micro ATX, a RTX 4060, 16 gigs of DDR5. And check this out, by the way. They actually tell you, oh, look, 16 gigs, eight by two. So it is dual channel DDR5. Thank you, I buy power for doing that. 600 watt power supply and a one terabyte M.2 drive for 999. That 13400F, you could put a 14600K on there. I know you can't overclock it because it's a B series motherboard, but you still get the benefit of all the cores and the built in turbo clocks that it has. And um, yeah. I mean, this has upgradability built right into it. The 600 watt power supply limits you on upgrading your GPU, uh, but still. And this comes in the Trace Mesh case, the Trace 7 Mesh Pro ARGB. So you have three front fans, a full, no, it's not a full mesh front panel, but as much as you need, that's for sure, for something like a 13400F and a 4060. This has tons of airflow, a tower cooler rather than the stock cooler that comes with 13400F and a rear fan as well. You have room to even later on put a 360 millimeter all in one liquid cooler in the top or at least a 240. I'm not sure about the Gen 5 enclosure and whether it can fit a 360, but it certainly looks like it can fit three fans right there. So, uh, yeah, I was going to say this is one of my favorite systems here for upgradability, future upgradability. Basically, if I were to choose a system for the pre-built rebuilt series to kind of make the system to go, you know, through the process, I would probably choose something like this one because it's one that a lot of people will buy. I buy power. There's an idea. Now you have another great deal here. Okay. With a Ryzen 5 7600 and an RX 7600, which will beat the 4060 in gaming and rasterized performance and has AV1 encoding for YouTube streaming or if Twitch ever picks up AV1, there you go. You have an awesome encoder on there. Now with this system, one really cool thing is that in AMD is going to support socket AM5, according to them, up to 2025. We're about to hit 2024. But remember, they said the last platform would be supported up to 2020, the year 2020. It's now the almost the end of 2023, and they're still releasing CPUs for socket AM4. That's ridiculous. It's incredibly awesome, and it's great for budget builders. But here you're buying into socket AM5 as before it has matured. That could mean, you know, maybe there'll be stability things here and there as they're doing updates and refining it and things like that. But they have shown that they mean it when they say, hey, this is going to get better over time. It's already good, but it's going to be great. And it just keeps going up incrementally. OK, so if you're like, I don't know, he's talking so much about a thousand dollar system. I'm here looking for something at, at, at two thousand dollars. I'm trying to get that one hundred dollars off. OK. All right, champ. That's cool. So once we get up to over 1999, which there are some amazing systems under that price, and we'll talk about those. That's when you start looking at the ones that come with like a 14th gen Intel processor and like 
you know, mid or higher tier 40 series NVIDIA GPUs. Like this one here is the Intel uh, Core i7 14700KF. One thing about that, that thing has nearly as many cores as the i9 because they added four more efficiency cores to the 14th gen i7 processor. And it actually breaks that down for you right here when you look at the, uh, that's one th another thing I like, even though this is a pre-configured system, you're not like exactly shopping for parts here. They break it down and tell you, hey, this has eight performance cores and 12 efficiency cores right there. If you don't know what you're looking at, it can be a little bit daunting, I know. But that's what that means. Eight performance cores at a base frequency of 3.4 gigahertz and 12 efficiency cores at a base frequency of 2.5 gigahertz. And then a 4070 Ti. You want to game in 1440p, even do some 4K gaming? Bam, that'll do it for you right there. 32 gigs of 16 gigs by two. So that's uh, two sticks of 16 gigs, making 32 gigs of RAM. So gaming, streaming, some video editing, not too heavy stuff, but like, yeah, basically you can run a lot of stuff at once once you get up to 32 gigs or higher when it comes to memory. At DDR5, 6,000, and that's RGB RAM. So it's even faster probably. And they're actually giving you, of course, the brand and model of the motherboard. It's the Asus Prime Z790V. Uh, but looking at this thing, this does have an 850 watt, uh, 80 plus gold PCIe Gen 5 power supply. So that's your ATX 3.0 PCIe Gen 5. It has the 12 VH PWR connector as a native connector on the power supply, which is great. They also, here's one thing to know about some of these ready systems. And they'll tell you like right here, the graphics card will be shipped uninstalled. If that makes you nervous, I understand, but know this. Installing a graphics card is probably the easiest thing about building a PC. The easiest thing you can do is removing or installing a graphics card as long as you watch a guide on how to do it or uh, you look at something like the PDF that they provide here. Now, this one also has a two terabyte M.2 drive. What have I been saying about this? What have I been saying about storage? Games ain't getting any smaller. Those downloads are ferocious, man. And any system two grand or up, I believe should have a two terabyte drive. But I mean, I, I would recommend this thing as a solid 1440p AAA titles uh, gaming PC. You need 4K on this as well. It's not gonna perform as well as like a 4080, obviously, but it can do 4K. Uh, but I would recommend this for anyone wanting to do very high frame rate 1440p gaming. This can definitely do it. And because it's 2099, you can get this thing down to $2,000 with code Brayathorn. You see what I'm getting at here? Honestly, guys, this video is kind of a mess because I've been waiting for this for a long time. And it's it's like, you know, I haven't covered I buy power in a while in depth like this. And it's not favoritism for other companies. And me doing this now is not favoritism for them. It's just the whole thing about like, hey, this whole week, it doesn't matter if they get rid of their sales or sales change. You can get 50 or 100 bucks off a ready system as long as it's above 999, whatever. You know, that, that's just exciting to me because it's been such a, it was such a, a an influence in me starting this channel in general. And iBuyPower has genuinely been super cool with me and with my community and with their community. They're just like super wholesome and they get a really bad rap. So if anything, if I can encourage you to do one thing after this, watch that LTT Secret Shopper video and not just the iBuyPower part, because you can't see how good their tech support is until you've seen how bad it is elsewhere. Oh, man. I do also wanna give kudos to NZXT, although the wait time was pretty atrocious. Yeesh, uh, full hour long wait time. The dude who came on was so cool, and that's really in keeping with NZXT's whole thing. Um, there's kudos to them real quick. And I know it's, and weird to talk about NZXT thing during an I buy power centric video. Um, and if you don't know why, that's okay. But uh, you know, credit where credit is due. You know, the dude was honest and it, I hope he didn't get in trouble over there for, being, for, for complaining about other employees because everyone in the comments was like, dude, that makes it so relatable. 
Let's see what other of these systems catch my eye. I feel like this one here for 1150 with a 13700F and a 4060 Ti is a little out of balance. I would rather see something like a, you know, 13600 or 13600K, maybe a 13400 and go for a 4070. And this system is pretty awesome because here they're leveraging the 7800 XT, which was lauded as being a better value than any NVIDIA cards that are supposed to be mid-range. The sort of back and forth was like, should it be the 7800 XT? Because compared to the 6800 XT, this thing is, is, uh, is right around the same. And like the naming scheme is weird, okay? Now pushing all that aside and looking at it objectively, the 7700X and the 7800 XT are a pretty banger combo. Plus you can look at later on upgrading to something like a 7800, 7800 X3D. I changed my mind because they're using an MATX motherboard and a full ATX case again. No, I buy power, you don't do that. It doesn't look good. It's very difficult to cable manage anything like this. Although you did a decent job, it looks like in this system for the photo shoot. It's difficult to cable manage this in a way that doesn't look stupid and dumb because you have all this empty space because it's a full ATX case and that's an MATX motherboard and one of these things does not match the other. Okay, so we're skipping over that one and I'm sad about it, but okay, that's fine. No problem. This one is an interesting one and I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, because it's super cool that I buy power. Like, I love this. I love this case. I loved this concept, but they need some new GPU blocks. Why is Braithorn saying that they need new GPU blocks? Well, they used a GeForce RTX 3070 in here. And why is that a problem, dude? That's still a good GPU. And it is. I built this channel for a lot of the time on a 3070. However, because this thing has the proprietary I buy power water block, and it's piped, you know, the tubing is done for that. The, the tube, tube lengths and everything are done for that. You can't really easily upgrade this GPU without just closing off those ports and just having an air-cooled GPU, which defeats the purpose of getting yourself the ECL Pro 3. So I wish that I by Power had made, had just, I mean, I guess they need to sell through this hardware. Of course they do. And I'm not saying they should throw it away. Like, but I think that this should go, like, maybe it should have been, it's already pretty budget. I mean, look at this. You're getting a fully liquid cooled system for 1500 bucks minus $50 because of my discount. So 1450 and you have a fully custom liquid cooled system. Like, how can you be mad at that? Well, it's the lack of being able to upgrade it. That's what I don't like. So I'm, uh, I'm at odds uh, with this one. 13700 KF is a very powerful gaming processor and DDR5 6000 and one terabyte is fine. I mean, this was originally a $2,000 system. So it's just skirting the line of where I would have said two terabytes, but you've got it down to 1500. I can't complain about that. But the, the Element CL Hardline Custom Liquid Cooling, it, it, this thing right here is such a cool system. I mean, LTT loved it. They were like, this was a really good idea to like mainstream hardline liquid cooling at an affordable price, relatively speaking. I mean, you get a fully custom loop, uh, custom liquid cooled system from like your main gear or digital storm or uh, EK fluid gaming. You're, you're talking about like five grand. This is 1500 bucks. What comes with getting a system like this though? There is an issue with it. If you're not prepared to do maintenance, you shouldn't get it. If you're not prepared to actually drain the system, once at least once a year like that it's clear liquid so like that's not a problem but if you're not fully prepared to perform maintenance on that liquid that, that cooling loop that open loop there you shouldn't get it you know what if this appeals to you i i can't even blame you if you want this like this you can go for that i'm like i wouldn't be mad at that i kind of want one just to tinker with it honestly if you just go 50 dollars more though you have two really cool options and even just a little bit more with sixty, with uh, seventy dollars more for this one, so you have some good options here, okay? And these are fairly similar. I would probably skip over this one right here, okay? Uh, because you're looking at the glass front panel. But if you go down to this one right here, it's the same price, and you get the Trace Mesh, the Trace Seven Mesh Pro case. There you go. And see what else is different. Thirty-two gigs of DDR5, fifty-six hundred for both. 
uh, one terabyte M.2 drive for both. I'm curious about something and I hope that they say what it is. Okay, I buy power real quick. Because this doesn't state that it's a Gen 4 drive, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you're putting in Gen 3 drives all over the place, PCIe Gen 3. Now for anyone coming from like a spin, from like a, uh, a SATA SSD based system or heck, a spinning hard drive system, PCIe Gen 3 is gonna seem like witchcraft with how fast it is. But once you start getting up to a certain threshold of price, you should either go for larger capacity or faster drives. But you should regardless say whether it's PCIe Gen 3 or 4. A 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, the Ryzen 7 7700X, and the GPU is the RTX 4070. So there you go, 40 series GPU there. And uh, the price is just 1549. So you're going from a 3070 to a 4070 for 50 bucks. Also, you're going from a 13700KF to a Ryzen 7 7700X. I know, with gaming in, in mind, that is a downgrade but you're getting on the AM5 platform. So you've got a world of CPU upgrades ahead of you. There were other options in this price range, and that was this one here, the Ready Fractal Ro1. Ro1. So this one, instead of having their, their own case, they're using a Fractal Pop Air case, which I think looks absolutely sick and has those pink highlights in it. Like, dude, you put pink on a PC, and I'm just like, that pops, man like the case name, the Pop Air. So this thing has a very interesting choice for a GPU, but it also has really good storage. So let's take a look at this. 7700X processor from AMD. So that is the same eight cores, same freak, all that stuff, all that stuff. Uh, 32 gigs DDR5 5600, that's the same. Two terabytes M.2 drive, double the storage, and a Radeon RX 6950 XT, the absolute top dog of last gen Radeon cards from AMD. Like this thing still rips. Plus has 16 gigs of VRAM in it, okay? However, if you're trying to stream, pass this one up. They made minor improvements to the encoding over time, but the encoding compared to the simplicity and just clean, just clean performance of NVENC is just not there. No AV1 encoding either. That wasn't until 7000 series Radeon cards. But if you're just looking to play some amazing rasterized graphics, like you're just, you don't care about ray tracing because ray tracing was, eh. you don't care about ray tracing. If you don't care about DLSS or any of that stuff, you just want just balls to the wall performance from a GPU. This is a hell of a value. Wait a second. No, 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 no. That doesn't say M on it. So that's not an actual picture of it. This would say B650M, okay? Okay, okay. So that scared me for a second, but you see what I'm talking about with MATX motherboards and a full ATX case? Th this was a mistake right here, whatever this system was, but this ain't, this can't be it, right guys? You would have put an M there, right? <laughs> you wouldn't just like not do that, right? <laughs> Come on, please. Okay, looking at these two systems here, okay? They're both around the same price, 1650 and 1700, right? Minus 50 bucks for either of them. But with this one, you get faster memory and you get a high airflow case, the, the newer case. Everything else seems pretty much the same. Two terabytes of storage right there for well under $2,000. Okay, 13700KF. I do wish that I buy power. I wish I would default to non F SKUs. And the reason that makes sense to me is because troubleshooting over the phone would be so much easier if you can troubleshoot a bad GPU by just plugging into the motherboard. I don't know why that's not a de default thing for you guys. I, I don't get it. But it means that like none of these are really ideal for video editing. Not a one of them, unless it's like probably the really high end ones. But between the two, I would go for this one right here. As we start continuing to go up, it starts to make more sense to go a little above 1999 rather than right below it, because then you get an additional 50 bucks off with the $100 off discount. We have a higher end version of the ECL Pro Plus. This is the four. 13700 KF, but this has a 3080. 3080 is still a, an absolute banger of a GPU. It just is. This is a the, the cheapest way to get into to a hardline liquid cooled system out there at these specs. So, yeah. 
it's just cooling a 13, an i7 and a 3080 with one 360 millimeter rad is questionable. I would probably add some exhaust fans up here on the top just to help out that one radiator because you can't add another radiator. You just can't. And then you have the Be Quiet system here, the Ready Quiet Night. This one has a 7800X 3D. Uh, it, that, I believe that one CPU of the year. We're, regardless of some people crying out about instability in AMD systems or whatever, this thing is still, it's just for a focused gaming system, there's no better thing. There's no better uh, CPU for a, a focused, dedicated gaming system. What doesn't make sense to me though, is that this system's clearly not geared towards something like content creation. But when you get a be quiet case, guess what happens? You get a quieter experience overall. Just don't plan on the system being for, you know, content creation. Once you try to get the 7800X 3D to do anything productivity wise, content creation wise, anything but gaming, compared to its competitors in the field, Price-wise, it falls flat. 13600K will wipe the floor with it when it comes to productivity, content creation, things like that. Now, once we get over that 1999, as I told you guys, you get $100 off each system. And basically, once you're in this price range, and this is it, it goes up to $3399. And yes, yes, you can get a system with a 4090 in it. There is a shortage right now. It is affecting retail and system integrators but there's a system right here that has a 4090 in it. Now, here's the thing. It's in the Y40 case, a 4090 and 13900KF. Oh my God, the F here too? Over $3,000 and you couldn't spring for the extra, like whatever cost amount it is, because it's not retail you guys pay. You couldn't spring for that little bit of extra to make it a non-F skew for a system that normally retails for $3,800 iBuy power. I don't know what to say. Let's back it up. Right here is probably gonna be one of the best performance gaming systems here, period. Okay, now uh, the, the Mori Calliope right here is obviously a, a rad case, a cool collaboration, and you can get, I don't wanna skip over this, you get an i9-13900KF, 13900KF, and a, a 4070Ti, two terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD and 32 gigs DDR5 at 6,000. I mean, and um, yeah, DDR5, all that good stuff and a 360 millimeter AIO. This thing is an awesome system for 2299. To be clear, that 4070 Ti can do a lot, okay? But like this Ready Fractal R Ru 2, okay? is gonna be, it's gonna, when it comes to gaming, it's probably gonna wipe the floor. Well, not, okay, no, 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 no. 1300K for CPU intensive gaming is gonna, it's gonna be right there just close to the 7800X3D. But like 7800X3D combined with a 7900XTX that can outperform a 4080 in some instances, okay? And just goes toe to toe with 4080. And you still went with 5,600 mega transfers per second memory. Thankfully, that is a cheap and easy to do upgrade for y'all out there who are thinking, I want, I don't want, I don't want to get this system and, and not have it optimized. Well, there you go. But you're looking at a 7,900 XTX with 24 gigs of VRAM. It is the top, top of the line AMD Radeon GPU out there right now, okay? And a 7,800 X3D, 3D V cache, absolute monster for gaming 240 millimeter aio is okay for a 7800 x3d because by by its nature this cpu cannot get too hot uh you'll get better performance out of it the more you cool it but this 240 with all the airflow you're going to get in that case it should be able to handle it uh, but this is an awesome awesome system and you get a hundred dollars off of it so you're looking at a price of 2269 very nice 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 but I take issue with this one here, this last one here. If I'm gonna hold other SIs accountable for when they use the word creator or any label like that, you cannot label a system as a creator system and then not provide a CPU that can do quick sync if it's an Intel platform. You can't do that. I, 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 don't, I don't want to, I don't wanna enable you here, I buy power. If it says creator, it you gotta make it for creators. 32 gigs 
for a $3,800 system, if it's a creator PC, make it 64. Someone who wants to be a content creator is gonna go into this and have to upgrade stuff. And the CPU has a critical flaw for video editing. That's not ideal for something labeled as creator. If I'm, I call out every SI that uses labels like that. And if you're gonna do that, you shouldn't do it here. On, you just can't. I cannot in good conscience just be okay with that. But credit where credit is due, good RAM in this one. Take this RAM, by the way, and put it in that uh, this system right here. Also, also put it in here, please. 7800X3D deserves better, okay? With that, you guys have seen my entire rundown of all of the ready pre-builts that are available right now. And you have a special code that's just for you. Yes, you, this you, the person watching this, you have a code where you can go do your holiday shopping and find a system. There are great budget systems if you have someone in your family who you want to get them their first gaming PC. And the ones that I mentioned are more upgradable. It might even be the beginning of their DIY hobby because pre-builds are the number one gateway for getting into DIY. That's how I got into it. That's how many of us got into it, okay? Watch my video, the 100th episode, where I interviewed a ton of tech content creators and I asked them, did you start with a pre-built? Thank you, I buy power. Even though I gave you a hard time on some things, that's my job. When I see something that is not ideal, I point that out. And maybe it might give you a different perspective and maybe it might not. You definitely know what you're doing when it comes to doing what you've been doing for 20 years now or 22 years now, something like that. Thank you for bringing me into the fold when it comes to being a creator or person who has a code with you guys. That feels really great. And uh, now all you viewers out there, you have my rundown of pretty much every system that's there, at least as of the time of recording. And you can apply some of that same criticism to any of the systems that uh, come out between now and tomorrow or later in the week. Do not miss the stream on Friday. I want you guys to win a GPU. I want you to win a Peepo. I need to grab my Peepo. He's, he, I still have, dude, it's been like almost a year I've been here. I still haven't unpacked everything, but I, I'm, he's, he, he's safe. He's very precious to me. Okay. It's this Bray Jr. All right. Um, but you could win one. You could win that. You can win other swag. Or you can win a GPU or you can win a freaking PC that I build for you. And I've been building for PCs for a long time, just to be clear, I, I, even though I review pre-builds. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Thank you so much for joining and thank you for putting up with my sheer uh, enthusiasm during this episode. It's like night and day from the last one. Um, but thank you so much for that. And I hope you'll join me for the stream again, Friday, unless they change it. Keep an eye on my Twitter, 6 p.m. Central here on the YouTube channel and on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. And um, please join. I can't wait to see y'all then. And I can't wait to give you free stuff. And th thank you again to iBuyPower, AMD, and Deep Cool for facilitating that, even though this isn't sponsored by them. This is not. This is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals, but I'm still thanking you ahead of time. It's awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one, and until then, take care.